exhilaration of the game tonight. Well, only one way, Eric. Indiana 74, Syracuse 73. And we'll let Jim Barber, Ed Harding, and Mark Voitman do the rest. I don't know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's happened all season long. IU winning the close ones. And the one that counted the most means IU's fifth national championship by one 74-73. So for Indiana, it's on to the White House. And a meeting with the president right now live in New Orleans, Ed Harding, Reagan, and Bob Knight on the same, uh, the same card, Ed. Well, you know, it's funny, Jim, that you mentioned the White House. Steve Isle, do you realize you're probably going to meet the president pretty soon? Do you know that yet? Oh, we're really excited about that. We're probably more excited about going out tonight and celebrating. Yeah, you know, uh, Mr. Knight has not allowed the kids to get on Bourbon Street, but there's nothing left right now. It, this may sound trite, but, but how does it feel to have walked up the side and know that there aren't any challengers left? Well, we're really happy to be the champions. Um, I don't think it's really sank into everybody yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll go back to Bloomington and all the people will be there and celebrating. We'll be celebrating also. Was there a point when this team came together when you felt it was a national championship team? Uh, Coach Knight had talked about our goals for the season, to begin the season, um, as being Big Ten champions and national champions. And from then on, that was our goals, and uh, we just kept working at it. And as we entered the tournament, I, I thought we kept getting stronger each game. So um, I think at the beginning of the tournament, we thought that we had a chance. I thought the Syracuse game tonight maybe included with the LSU game and the Auburn game. You know, you didn't have an easy road to the championship, did you? No. Uh, everyone said that we had a good bracket and everything, but when you're in a tournament, everybody's playing well and you're playing against good teams. Is there anything, you know, is there anything that, that can better this, that this moment that you feel right now? Oh, no. It, when Keith hit the shot, it was, everybody just looked around. I remember Daryl called the court and we just looked stunned. It was like, is this really it? Is this really what it feels like? So we're happy. It was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We won, didn't we? That's right. <laughs> Steve, I want to say congratulations. I thank you for coming out. And, and look, Steve, Steve Schweitzer, can you get a shot of that? You know, this is what, what players on, no matter what level they play on, this is what they play for. That is a national championship ring on the hand of Steve Isle. He'll cherish that. Stephen, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy Bourbon Street All tonight. Right. <laughs> Steve talked about the Keith Smart shot. I know you have already seen it, but what I want to do is I want to show you the highlight setup. It was a terrific basketball game tonight, believe me. A great game to watch, a great game to win if you're Indiana. And for Syracuse, it's going to be tough. 65,000 in the Dome, IU in the home white, Garrett with the jam. Indiana leads it by three points. Alford with a bad pass. Syracuse taking advantage of the turnover. Monroe with the basket, and Syracuse's lead is three, 11 to eight on this hoop. On a 10-5 run, Steve from three-point range, he had seven three-pointers tonight. Cycley for Syracuse with the jam. He's their big man inside, number four. At times, he dominated the floor. On a 10-4 IU run, Darrell Thomas scoring inside here. Many cases, this was a tougher game inside than the Nevada Las Vegas. Alford for three. IU by one at the half as the buzzer sounds. Browser, a three-point play for Syracuse in the second half, gives the Orangemen a four-point lead. And when Trish comes back on the next sequence with this goal, it's 52-44 Syracuse with 13 minutes to play. But back comes Steve Alford. IU goes on a 10-0 run. A three-point goal makes it 52-50. Orangemen leading by two. Thomas with the jam inside to tie the game at 52. So you've got the stage set. Coleman has 19 rebounds. He's a freshman. Gets the offensive board. A 63-61 Syracuse lead here. But the star of the game, Keith Smart from nearby Baton Rouge, Louisiana. On the drive, he gets the goal. Smart with the basket here to tie it at 77-77. Syracuse inches ahead, and it's at this point that IU fouls the freshman, Derek Coleman, to put him on the line. I'll let CBS take care of the rest of the game. It's the two. He's short. Indiana can win it. And he decided to put Douglas on offer. And they go man to man. Smart takes the shot, oh, okay. and the Hoosiers with three seconds. Go ahead. Nobody stopped the clock. Surprisingly, Bobby Knight does not put Garrett on the passer. I thought he'd put Garrett on Coleman to prevent the long pass, but he guard puts nobody on Coleman. Here it goes. Indiana wins the championship. Keith Smart is the hero.
getting tickled. But for these kids to come back like they did and to hang in the game the way they did, and for these last two years, my first thought is what these kids have done, and especially what this kid right here has done. For Bob Knight, it's national championship number three at Indiana, going along with 76 and 81. And for Indiana as a university, it's national championship number five. The numbers, Steve Alford with 23, Keith Smart with 21. I was on the floor just moments after the game. Take a look. So I just had to come out and do some movement, and Ricky wasn't in, so I had to really kind of pick Assistant up the like there. Hold you again in the second half, and then you went back in. What, uh, was there any... But once again, he was telling me to settle down, because I think I was getting beside myself a little bit with some passes and some four shots. He told me to settle down, and don't worry, because I'm going back in. The last shot, hey, as long as he went in, Indiana is up on the scoreboard, and that's great. I, no matter if I hit the shot or some other guy on the team hit the shot, that's how I feel about it. So I had to kind of like uh, take things in my own hands and go to the bucket, and I was able to do that. Well, Can you believe what has happened? Let's get that other net. Let's go. Yeah. Let's get that other net. Congratulations, Coach. Let's go get it. There's a lot of doubt, but there's never no quit. Um, nobody ever going to give up. I mean, it's your last game of the season, no matter how it comes out. And like I said, it's a tough way for especially for those guys to lose, especially if it's tied to budget. I don't know. Maybe it was just destiny for us to win this whole thing. I don't know. But like I said, this is what it's all about. This ring right here. This is what it's all about. The memories. I'm just glad. I'm just, I just, I'm so happy right now to keep making what, what about that last shot? I mean, it was designated for Steve, of course. But Steve didn't get the ball. Steve played out to the other side. So me and Keith was on the same side. I got the ball. I turned to face Coleman. I shot fake. He didn't move. So I turned back to look for Keith flaring out. Keith caught it. Squared up. Took the shot and did it. I mean, this is the best feeling I've had. I mean, all my life. I, nothing else can can even compare to this. Syracuse played terrifically they tonight, played, didn't they? They played a great game. Steve, yeah. could you imagine hitting the three-point shot at the half to go up by one and then Smart's bucket to win the game? Well, Better scenario? No. Huh? We've had a lot of one-point games, a lot of two-point games during the year, and a lot of close ones, and I think that's helped us. I, a big credit to the Big Ten. I think it's been very competitive all year and it's prepared us for a lot of close, hard-fought games. I think this was just another one. It was a shame somebody had to lose tonight. Syracuse played terrifically this evening. They were a great ball club. I think when you get to this position, either team's going to be a great ball club. When you come to Indiana, uh, I don't care who you are, you've got this opportunity, and you're more than likely going to have this opportunity in four years. This is Coach's third. You know, sooner or later, he's going to get you there. And his preparation, his mind, and, and he's the reason why I came. He, I came there because of him, because I wanted to get a national championship, and, and he did that for me. I still can't it believe like it. it. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> we're, just, we're just so excited we can't even speak. This is just a dream come true. Everybody's ecstatic. You realize you've conquered all comers. I mean, they, there, there aren't any hurdles left, you know. <laughs> no, I, we just can't wait to get back to Bloomington and celebrate with all the people that helped us get here. Pretty good, sir. That's the way I looked in New Orleans about an hour or so ago. But let's take you to where the heart of the Indiana University campus is. Let's go back to Indiana and Bloomington. I can hear it, Mark Boydman. It must be a terrific celebration. All right, I'm sorry. Having some difficulty hearing you, Ed. But here in Bloomington, it's pretty crazy. When that last shot was made, there was a big shout that went up all over Bloomington. And that shout has not ended. You are seeing just a few of the thousands of people who have gathered here in front of the Fine Arts Building, down in the center of campus, where the Show Walter Fountain is. Let's try to talk to a few of them. Were you worried? Were you worried that IU no way. No might have way. been in trouble? No way. I had confidence in Keith. Were you worried? No way. <laughs> out there somewhere, out there somewhere is a fountain, and thousands of students are trying to tear down the Venus statue of that fountain. Last Saturday, when IU won its game, they tore down two of the fish statues that surround that fountain. Now they're going for the rest of them. IU's number one. IU's number one. Keith Smart for president. Keith Smart for president. Hey, I, was, I, was worried. I was worried about IU at first, but I knew at the end that they come through, man. Keith Smart is one of the baddest basketball players I've seen at IU. So there you have it. There you have it in Bloomington. Everything except human sacrifice here. Wall to wall people, thousands of them, gathered at the IU campus. Bloomington is happy. Let's go back to Ed Harding in New Orleans. And hey, Mark, if you can still hear me, why don't you tell them that the team plane will be leaving tomorrow so the heroes come back sometime in the afternoon. We love you, Ed! We love you! We love you! No, to be honest with you, I don't think Mark can hear anything. It's pretty quiet here at the base of the Superdome. And 
what we're going to do is go back to Jim Barber in the studio in Indianapolis. James. <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Great job done. Incidentally, national champions, why not? Finally, just uh, I guess about a few minutes after it was all over, the fifth ring added to the shirt. And imagine a few people will be picking this up. We should give it out to the eighth caller, right? No, we can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, national championship. We'll have more coming up in sports. Okay, Jim, thanks.